Mm. <laughs> I'm eating an avocado. Whew. It is still warm and that's okay. I spent the whole day in my office doing things that were really important to me. And I made cheese last weekend. I didn't film it. I'm gonna start filming the cheese videos again and doing some food videos. I just wanted to get warmed up, kind of tired. I got burned out on doing the sourdough. But here is what the feta looks like. And I think I'll probably, no, I'm not gonna film the next part that I'm gonna do because I'm gonna put the feta into jars with oil. So I'll just put a picture of what I'm doing up there, but I wanted to show everybody the feta that I made. How's that look? <laughs> Actually, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I, I ate some. I can tell, you know, because I actually made, no, 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 there's got to be some more somewhere else because there's another container with feta in it. Someplace, probably sitting on the counter. Who knows? I've got other cheeses that I'm getting ready to cut too. I've got a pepper. Look at this one. That is a cheddar that has got peppercorns in it. I'm not sure how that's gonna be, but I am gonna cut it. Boy, it sure is a stinky cheese, that's for sure. I'm gonna cut that and see how that tastes. Or I might just throw it away, who knows at this point. But anyways, this is what I've been working on over here. And the fetas look fabulous. And then I definitely have to get in here and check out what's going on in my cheese cave. That is a Gouda that got overdone. That right there is a Parmesan. That one looks good inside there. That's actually a Monterey Jack. This is a Manchego. And up at the top is a cheddar of some sorts, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, sometimes. And then there's some back there in the back. I could see them. I don't know what they are, but they're in the back in, um, in uh, Ziploc bags. So, woohoo! cheese galore you can see it's set at 53 degrees that's as cold as it can get i also have been using my dehydrator really happy about that actually this is i'm more happy about the dehydrator at the moment look i've been doing spices and i'm gonna get i'm getting ready to do something with that those are seeds i salvaged but look at that apple and uh peach those are peaches those <laughs> and look oh and i've got strawberries too oh these are raspberries Yum. organic strawberries and raspberries okay great these in particular are for the vinegars so um but what i've got to do today this is rebel look how patient she's sitting there waiting she wants to get bottled, so we're gonna make some kombucha. I have to go and get the uh, the fruit for the kombucha. I'm gonna do raspberries and blueberry kombucha. Woo hoo, I can't wait. Then inside the big fridge, I found these. I did these last weekend, and I did these next exactly the same time I did the feta, and these are actually, Common bears. Um, look, they're already starting. See the brown, kind of little brownage on them. That's where they'll. That's the kind of color that goes underneath. That's the underneath color of the mold that goes on them. So they're already starting to pop up. They look great. Oh my god, I cannot wait for these. But see, here's the thing. The feta is pretty fast to do, so I could do the feta and eat that at the, before these, which will take about a month for the cabin bears to be ready. So, woohoo! Uh, there we go. Catch my bright red hair. It's the thing. <laughs> Anyways, this is Heather with Texas Micro Farms. And we are getting ready to rock and roll the kitchen. So y'all keep staying tuned and uh, we're gonna get some good eats on. Love ya.
Bye-bye.